In today's video, we're going to be making ourselves a boss level in Game Maker Studio. Basically, we've got this spacecraft here that's going to be shooting bullets out randomly. If we get hit by those bullets, we will die, and we'll have to start the level again. Our job here is to shoot this spaceship. Now, there's a bit of a catch. Because it is a boss level, we actually have to shoot it five times before it dies. Okay, so I've shot it a couple of times. Hopefully, one more bullet should kill this ship. Oops, there must be two more bullets. There we go. So about five times I had to shoot it before he disappeared. Alright, so it's pretty easy to make. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a game that I've uh, already created most of it. So I've already got a main character, which is the girl here, and she can jump around and she can shoot. So all I really need to bring into this game is the boss. Okay, so you already know how to make characters jump and shoot. So what we're going to do is bring in a sprite first of all, so load up your sprites. Now I've got some sprites in here. There's my big boss there. Okay, it's already got a transparent background so I don't need to remove the background. And I'm just going to give it the name SPR underscore boss. Click OK. And I'm going to straight away convert that into an object so I'll call that OBJ oops, underscore boss. And I'm going to attach the boss sprite to it. I'll click on OK. Now the other sprite we need to bring in is the bullet that the boss shoots out. I'm actually going to make that one ourselves, so we're just going to create a sprite and call it SPR underscore boss bullet. And instead of loading a sprite, we're going to go to edit sprite. And we're going to create a new one by pressing that blank piece of paper at the top. Make it 32 by 32 and then double click on this little grey image that appears. And that will allow us to edit um, our sprite. By scrolling up on the mouse, you can zoom in here. And basically you want to pick up your circle tool here and pick yourself two colours. I'm just going to pick a red and a yellow. Okay, I might just change the thickness of my bullet here and just holding shift I'm going to draw a circle onto the page. And that's my bullet. Nice and simple. I press the green ticks at the top and I'll click OK on that. And we've got our boss bullet made up. Convert that into an object once you've got it made. So obj underscore boss bullet would be a good name for it and attach the boss bullet sprite to it and then click on OK. Now before we start coding I just want to go back to the sprite boss for a moment and what we want to do is tell this sprite where we want the bullets to come out of it when it actually starts shooting. And what we're going to do is just click on the sprite showing where we want the bullets to appear from. So basically inside I guess its mouth here I'm going to click once and you'll see that my X and Y values down here for the origin change. Okay, so just click somewhere near the opening point there, of, we'll say that spaceship's mouth, and that's where the bullet's going to come out of now. So click on OK. Now we can start the coding. So let's start with the um, boss bullet. We'll just open that up quickly. We'll just get the simple coding over and done with first. What I want to do with the boss bullet, when it hits the wall, I just want it to disappear. So we're going to add an event, and it's going to be a collision with the wall. Okay, so when the bullet hits the wall we're simply going to destroy it. So go to main one and choose the destroy instance option there. That's just going to stop the bullet from uh, going through our wall and not really disappearing. So if it hits the wall now it will disappear. So we'll click OK on that. The other thing we want to do is over here when the girl has a collision with the bullet, what do we want to happen? So I'm going to open up object girl right to begin with and add in a collision event with the bullet. So when the girl gets hit by a bullet, we basically want to restart the level. So I'm just going to go to the main one tab and hit this little up arrow here. Restart the current room. Click OK. I'll do the same on the object girl left. So I'll add in a collision event with the bullet so when the girl gets hit by the bullet, in your main one tab, choose the restart the level or restart room button. Click OK. So that's the easy coding out of the way. What we're going to do now is code up our boss. Okay, so open up your object boss. And we're going to begin today by adding in a create event. Okay, so when this boss is first created on our screen, we want to tell it to move. And the way we do that is grab the red arrows here. I want it to just go up and down, and I want to set its speed to about 5. We'll click OK once we've got those set. The other thing we want to do when we create this boss is give it some health. 
And we do that by going over to the score tab here and choosing the first health bar, so the set health option. We're going to set the value to 100, which is like 100%. So at the moment it's got 100% health. As it, get hit, as it gets hit by the bullets later on, we're going to take some of this health off. So I'll click OK. That's all we need on the create event. We just want to start moving and we want to give it full health. Next thing we're going to do is add in a collision event. Okay, the first thing, when the boss hits the wall, okay, it's moving up and down, so we simply want to reverse its direction when it hits the wall. And it's going to be its vertical direction. So select the reverse vertical and click OK. That's an easy one. We're going to add in another event now. This time it's going to be a collision with the bullet left. Okay, so if our girl manages to shoot the boss with one of her left bullets, first thing we want to do is destroy the other. That's basically destroying the bullet that hits it. Okay, it's not going to destroy itself, which is the boss. We just want to destroy the other thing in this uh, case, which is the bullet. So we'll click OK. Once the bullet's destroyed, we need to go down to our score tab here and test our health bar. Okay, we need to make sure that our health is greater than zero or larger than zero, sorry. Okay. If our health is larger than zero, then we want to set our health again. So I choose the set health here. We're going to set it to minus 20. So we're going to take off 20% of our health. And we're going to select relative. So it takes it off the original health value. We'll click on OK. Then we're going to go to the control tab and select else. So if our health is not larger than zero, that means we're going into negative health figures. That means we've died. Okay, so basically we want to destroy the boss. So just destroy it and click on OK once you've selected self. So let's just go through that again quickly. When the boss gets hit by a bullet, we're going to destroy the bullet first of all. Then we're going to check to see if the boss health is larger than 0%. If it is, we're going to take off 20%. Otherwise, if the health is less than 0%, and we're just going to destroy the boss. That means he's been hit about five times, and we can now kill him off. All right. I'm going to highlight all those, and I'm going to copy them. Okay. I'm going to add in one more event now, and it's going to be the collision with the bullet right. And I'm simply going to right-click in the actions and paste in the exact same actions. So when we get hit by a bullet, we check to see if the boss has any health left. If it does, take off a bit of that health. If not, just destroy the boss completely. All right. So that's one of the hardest bits out of the way. The last bit now, what we're going to do is put in a step event. We want this boss to shoot out some bullets randomly. Okay, so we're going to put in the step event. Inside the step event, we're going to go to the main... Oh, sorry, we're going to go to the control tab. We're going to select this green dice. It's called test chance. And we're going to set that test chance there to, we'll say about 15 to begin with. You can change this number up or down if you want the uh, boss to shoot faster or slower. If you want to shoot bullets out quicker, make the number smaller, so you might want to make it 10. If you want the bullets to come out a little bit slower, so it's a bit easier to get the boss, maybe make it 20 or 30. But I'm just going to go with 15 for now, and I'm going to click on OK. OK, so what that's going to do is just going to shoot randomly. Uh, every now and then and in the main one tab we just got to tell it to shoot so let's choose this yellow like light bulb with a red arrow on it we're going to create a moving object okay so what we're going to create it's going to appear on itself okay and we're going to create a boss bullet so that boss bullet is going to appear where we clicked earlier on the sprite boss so basically at the mouth of the spaceship okay once the boss bullet appears, what we're going to do is just go down and set the speed to 12 and the direction 180. That means it's going to go left and we're going to check relative. If you wanted your bullets to go up, I think you choose like 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, you choose about 270 degrees. If you want them to go down, you choose 90 degrees and 0 degrees if you want it to go right. Okay, so you might want to remember that for future reference. Um, so I'm going to click OK on that, and what I'm going to do is give this game a test run. I think we're getting pretty close to having it made, so I'll click OK there. 
I just better get a level one first and put the boss in. So in my objects here, I'm just going to, have to put the boss in. Uh, that's everything we need there. So we'll press the tick. Let's run this game and we'll see if we can get ourselves a working game. This might just take a minute to load as it is the first time I've compiled the game. I know it's going pretty quick. You notice my screen resolution is a bit smaller. I'm not sure why that happens, but anyway, looks like our spaceship is shooting bullets pretty well. It's coming straight out of the mouth of the machine. Let's try and shoot it a few times now and see if we can kill it off. I think I've shot it about two or three times. I think one more bullet ought to kill it. Yep, there we go. So it looks like we've got our boss working. We have to shoot it five or six times before it actually disappears. Okay, so there's not too much to it. Hopefully you got all that in and it made a bit of sense to you. Uh, when you're done, make sure you just save it up. And if you want to play it, create application is a good idea as well. Then you can take it home and show your friends and family. Okay, that's it.